Well, hi there. Welcome again to another Universal Yums unboxing. We have the Super Yum Fun size. It's the biggest one. So we have a lot of variety. You know the score. So let's get going and uh, share all our beautiful treasures with the world. And vice versa. <laughs> That's right, it's the snack cleaver. Ooh. Little initial on there. Let's see what we got. Oh boy, Espana! I'm really excited about that. It's right next to Portugal. You got some Pablo Picasso art. He's from there. It's actually really nice. I like the primary colors. Good, good, uh, Composition, good art, but this isn't an art box. No, it's a snack box. We got the instructions right here. We're gonna see what's in them. Make tortilla española. I might later. Which animal inspired the name for the Canary Islands? Ah, uh, this is a trick. A dog, B canary, Z zebra finch. Nope, C zebra finch. Or the rainbow parakeet. It's probably just like a dog, right? If you know Latin, you may have guessed correctly. Canary is derived from the Latin word for dog. Guess what? I didn't know Latin. I guess, but that makes sense. And, you know, for an informed consumer, this has a lot of great... You know, I guess I'm like, I think this is made of... This just tells me. So I really should be smarter about all this, but guess what? Not gonna. We're gonna have an adventure. Just pull our socks up and, and leap into the unknown. It's a pretty strong mystery to drink today. I like that. So let's get going. No preamble. Just right into it. Having fun. Look at this. La Abuela Nieves. Artisan potato chips. Lemon and black pepper flavor. They just take all the mystery out of it. But guess who loves lemon and black pepper? This guy. It's always a good, always a good combination. So imagine if Lay's just had a really good flavor instead of like, here's barbecue again. That's what this is. The lemon is great and the black pepper is great. I'm gonna have another one. Sabores de Nuestra Tierra. I bet that means flavors of our earth or something like that. Vincente Vidal, Deste 1931. That is very interesting. I bet that was made in 1931. Queso de Sabor Cabra. I don't make goat cheese? Is that it? We'll see. Ooh, a huge chip. I like that. Look at all the bubbles. That was a potato not very long ago. Hmm. Crumbly. You know, when a potato chip is not bite sized, it, it poses a, a problem sometimes because you can't fit it all in your mouth, but it really is a one bite snack usually. That's how it's constructed, so it gets a little crumbly. This is really subtle. I like it. I like what's going on, but this is going to be one where you eat half of the bag and then you're like, man, I am drunk off this beautiful flavor of Sabor and Queso de Cabra. But um, right now it's just kind of the subtle starts of it all. And unfortunately, we're not going to eat half this bag. So later, if you have the box yourself, you might be like, he undersold how interesting and delicious is all. Well, I, I didn't get to it all. I didn't get to it. I didn't get that far. This is a teaser. We're putting our we're putting our feet in the water. That's what we're doing. Let's see what we got. Acho, Gesundheit. tomato and spices. You know, I like tomato when it's turned into a sauce, and I like spices when it's put on a sauce for a pizza. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. They made a they, they made a fine great product. But they made it so fine that you might not be able to open it. Oh jeez. Crime alert. Oh, this is great. It's like, yeah, man, there sure are a lot of chips in, in Spain. I like them. I like them when they're all curled up and kind of crunchy. These are the crunchiest of the three chips so far. And I would say up front the most flavorful. It's got a nice tomato and spice kind of thing, I suppose, is not to put too fine a point on it. But let's uh, keep rolling. I'm very excited about this box. It looks like there's a lot of treasures and treats. You know, just an aside, but you know how sometimes the talk show hosts, they go online and they're like, let's quiz this guy on the street and see if he knows where Spain is and then he doesn't know when you laugh at him? I was thinking about it and I was like, you know, boxes like this are really good because it's got a map of exactly where it is in the world exactly little countries are on it and it's not going to help everybody it's not going to help the geographically challenged but it makes this world a little closer to everyone through snacks and through flavors and through you know i think it's a good idea to just share share knowledge and share snacks and that way you think of spain and you don't just think of a, a thing on the map but you think you know that's the place with the great chips and that's i think how we're going to find world peace we're just going to share food and share jokes, and we're gonna be great to each other, and we're gonna fight all the snack criminals that are trying to steal all the monuments, like Cakewalk, an international villainess, who I almost caught, but she got away from me. I'll get you, ma'am. Coming after you. Is this a clue she left for me? To look her in, look for her in Spain? No, nah, she's probably just sitting on the couch, ordering swords online. But these are pollitos asados. I found them in this box, not not a clue. Ooh, guess what? They're little crunchy crumbs. I like them, they're like little Cheeto balls, but they're not balls, they're little shark fins. Whatever they are, they kind of taste like chicken. Not, not as much as like the chicken in the basket, biscuit basket. That's very chickeny. These are more subtle. And I like them. So far, I'm, I'm just excited for, for the box and to sit in a chair after a long day of work, of, of fighting crime. But a lot of it is actually just a lot of paperwork and being like crouton, soup cracker, oyster cracker, just doing an inventory of all that. It's mostly what my job entails. And then sometimes I'm on the rooftops slugging it out with a monster man made of gummy worms. Carnix snack the maze. I bet it's made of corn and I bet it's bugles. Guess what? It's bugles, but unfortunately they are sealed on the end and I cannot create witch fingers, which is one of the best thing about bugles. But let's see, maybe the best thing about just corn Horns in general is how good they taste. And yeah, these have a flavor that here, where I'm from, they don't quite they don't quite get so deep. These are robust and interesting. That's what I say. Are any of them worth my taste? No. That's the one to merit. No. No portable witch figure slot, unfortunately. They're good otherwise. And I don't really think that's necessarily something you need to prioritize in a snack. You don't always have to play with your food. Kind of like to. You can weaponize your food sometimes if you're fighting that gummy man. That's what I say. Speaking of gummy man, gummy pink flamingo. I just ate chips. I bet having gummy in my mouth is perfect and isn't going to cause a problem at all. Vidal, you make a good gummy because I opened you right up. I didn't even have to look. You just pop right open. 
pink flamingo. Gorgeous. A beautiful bird. Do you know, flamingos, no one really, they're still working on the Sibley Alquist bird classification. We're still not sure the closest bird flamingos are related to. Some people thought cuckoos for a while, and now we're thinking grebes. But we're still, we're, we're still not really sure where the grebes are related, the Miranda formes. But these are Phenocopta formes, but guess what? They're a nice strawberry lemonade -y. Well, I don't know. That might not be true. I think they're just pink and I'm thinking strawberry lemonade. But guess what? They're great. They're fun. They're a nice gummy. They look like pink flamingos and I can dance and wade and eat all the shrimps. I love them. Good stack. Let's see. Let's scrounge. Let's scrounge. Acho again. Gesundheit, again. Fried egg. You know, I like these interesting flavors. You don't always like go to the store and be like, fried egg. Oh no, Acho, you're gonna make me be a criminal. Oh no, Acho. I know, two in a row, I'm sorry. It can't be helped. Sometimes you have to make a break an egg to have a egg chip. Oh, another nice crispy fried snack. These these chips are good. These Acho, you done it again. Really crunchy, really bubbly, crispy. Not really tasting the fried. I mean, it's there. It's kind of just starchy and. Tastes like cholesterol and butter. I like it. It's, it, again, it's not subtle in that it doesn't hit you over the head with flavor. But, oh, I'm just falling apart. If there weren't eggs on the box, I would be like, that's an interesting flavor. I wonder what it is. It was eggs. Sippy sip. There we go. Let's see what's next. Vidal again. I bet it's just gonna pop right open because their packaging is friendly and interesting. Uh oh. Maybe. No, see? Well, I broke it, but it did open easily. Maybe I just don't have my own strength. Pineapple ring. Ooh, it's sour. It's real sour. If you like sour snacks, you're gonna like this. I'm gonna have a hard time eating the whole bag. I can enjoy one or two. But boy, it's good. It's nice, it's fun, but it's a sometimes snack. I'm gonna have another one though. Sometimes it's right now. Ooh, sour again. Makes me pucker. Pucker up. That, that is kind of intense. How about you sour aficionados? I've been kind of sleeping on the sourness or not really reacting, but that's a strong one. I like it. That's a, good, that's a good drink. Vidal again, maybe. Third time's charm. Look, look at, look at the mango. Ooh, perfect. Ooh. It's like an orange colored kidney bean. Or one half of the yin, or yang, but orange. Hmm. Soft, a little spicy, like a mango would be, I guess. I don't know if that makes sense. Why is it spicy? Oh, because it says spicy mangoes. I'm just a fool. I didn't read the packaging, but guess what? Spiciness, it entices you to have another bite. It's a trick of your brain and your neurotransmitters. It's like, oh, this should hurt me, but guess what? It's a little dangerous. It's a little interesting. I better have another one. Tell us what happened to me right there. Let's see. Scrounging. Picking. I like the packaging of this quite a bit. Lacositos Gold. And it's a nice plastic tube. Oh, what's inside? Little orange. 
candies without M's on them, but they do say gold on them. No, they don't. They say go. They, they do. This, I thought this one said Goku, but it, it was, uh, it says gold. It just got rubbed off a little bit. Hmm. Are nice. Candy shell. You're inside. It's like a white chocolate, but we kind of got that Dulce de Leche extra burnt sugar flavor. So the white chocolate isn't, it's not strong. It's not cloying. It's got a nice candy shell. This is the way to do white chocolate right. And then I bet I'm going to read the book and it's not even white chocolate. It's something mysterious and different. And this was my first impulse and I said white chocolate. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. Two wrongs. Let's have a fight. But I like the packaging. But... Maybe I better reuse it and put other knickknacks and trinkets instead of throwing it away in the landfill. Because it is plastic. And I don't want to have it end up killing a small bird in the ocean. Maybe a grebe. We, don't, we know all about them. Creamfield snack cake? I love Creamfield snack cakes. Open it really carefully. Listen to what it has to say to you. Look at that. It's like greasy and covered in sugar, and it's just a confectionery treat. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Now that's delicious. I know, you see, I just like the weird indulgent cakes from across the world. That's what I like. This is great. It's like syrupy. It's got a layer in it. I, oh, you can taste the flour on top. I don't know what this is. This is wonderful. I'm going to put it over here, but I'm going to eat it in a second when the cameras are off. This isn't going to last the night. Favorite pick of the night. Boo, 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 boo. We'll, we'll add a sound. Chocolate Negro Naranja. That's what that says. I bet that means dark chocolate orange. I know a little, uh, un pequeño, un pequeño español. No entiendo la lengua de loca de la luna. That's pretty much all I know, but I know it. So, whoever paired dark chocolate with orange for the first time, I bet they were out of their minds. They were like, holy crap, these two go together? That's crazy. I raise my voice because I'm so excited. This is good. But I kind of ate it a little too fast. You need to kind of warm it up in your mouth a little, let it all melt. And I'm kind of rushing the experience. Very good. Savor it, you know. And I'm not really giving my chance to savor, unfortunately. Because I'm done with the savory snacks. I'm on to the sweet. Wordplay. Chocolate Blanco con galleta. I bet that means white chocolate with cookies. This is a cookies and cream. That's what that is. Ooh, nice. But look at all the, like, texture. That's a lot of cookie to cream ratio. Ooh, nice. I like that. Again, ooh, that's a, you know what? That's a nice white chocolate. It's milky. They did white chocolate right, and they added a lot of cookies in it. That's mostly how you do white chocolate right. You hide it with other things. And this is wonderful and I love it. So far this box is like a 10 out of 10. Diez de la diez. I don't know how to say that. This is wonderful. La Casa. Cocoa dusted truffles with salted caramel flavor. Guess what? Salted caramel is among my top flavors. I don't know why, it's just indulgent and fun. Why am I opening it weird? I don't know. I, 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 it was perforated correctly. I just wasn't looking. Bags with the bags. We've had dusted truffles before, but this one tastes of cake. Cause it's like a little Hershey kiss, so I kissed it. But um, I don't even want to use Hershey in the same sentence as this because instead of tasting like gross chocolate. This tastes like amazing chocolate. We're gonna put it back in this nice little little cubby box and tuck it away. Take it to lunch tomorrow or something. Take it to school, make friends. 
That's what I say. You know what? I don't know if it's a brisk pace or not. We're going through this quite well. Use the cleaver to remove the adhesive. Mini cinnamon cookies. I'm excited. Excited and scared. Individually wrapped. That's wonderful. Whoa, look how... Ooh, ooh. Look how thick this cookie is. It's like a discus. Or a puck. Hmm. I should have expected that. It's dry and crumbly. But then, when you have the moisture in your mouth, it kind of melts in your mouth. I like it. It's very good. I could see this being kind of hard to eat sometimes. If you're in a hurry. But, no, that's a good flavor. It's crumbly. It's delicate. You can taste the cinnamon. Oh, big bark. Um, that was a mistake. Because, uh, um, when you put it all in your mouth, it kind of turns into a little cinnamon frosting, and it's kind of cloying. It's just like eating flour. Tasty flour, but, um, yeah, that was a mistake. Ooh. Cinnamon goes well with that, that moon drop drink, that's for sure. Now, the moment you've all waiting for in our trip to Spain, are we going to fight some bulls? Are we going to meet Hemingway? Are we going to learn about the Cantanabrian religion of the past? I don't know. I'm just going to pour out the yum bag. Oh, look at that. Treasures and treats. Sancho Malero, Almendra, Reyena de Almendra. That seems, I guess they mentioned almonds twice. But look, it's a crispy, crunchy almond cookie. It's got a little wafer outside. And a wonderful almond paste inside. This is a treasure. I love when cookies do that. I love when they're a little wafer with little treasures inside. This is also my favorite. This box is amazing. That's what I say. Well, there's a couple of those. Let's see. This one is red. El Casario. Con piñones. I don't know what this... Oh. If these are hard sucking candies, maybe we can only have one. Yeah. That was a hard bonbon. It's good. Look at it. That's just a classic wrapper. Old school. Gold and red. I like that. Um, there are quite a few others, but as you can see... Oh, no! Can't have you fallen off. I'm just picking up things that I'm not going to eat. See? Look how beautiful these are. They're all pretty much, I think, going to be the hard... Hard candies that you have to suck for a while. I see pistachio. I see... Tafala, I don't know what that is. There's a lot of weird, not weird, unique to me. I'm not disparaging anything I haven't had before. It's all treasure, it's all unique. Um, these are just going to take a long time to eat, so we're not going to, but um, we'll take a nice look at all of them, and I'll, I'll enjoy them. I'm sure they'll be succulent and nice and caramely, and some of them have pistachios in them. Anyway, um, I think that's it, friends. I will see you again in the future, whenever that may be. And, as always, continue snacking and learning and enjoying the world and all its fun surprises. Goodbye. Where in the world is that darn cake walk walking around, hiding all the cakes? Uh-oh, give them back to me, cake walk. You're sweet but sassy. Goodbye.